Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to Plastic Addict. For years, disc golfers from amateurs all the way up to the pros have been using hiking shoes, they've been using running shoes, and anything they could to go out and play a round of disc golf. But today, that all changes with this new disc golf specific shoe. Let me first introduce you to the Idio Sports Syncrasy. This shoe was designed by Craig Kitchens and his team full of designers from Adidas, Keen, and other reputable outdoor shoe brands. This shoe has features that specifically cater to the disc golfer, but first, let's talk about the obvious. This shoe is completely waterproof to keep all those toes dry because who really likes playing disc golf when your feet are soaked? I personally love this feature so much because I never have to worry about puddles or anything getting my feet wet. This is a super nice feature. But however, there are a lot of other shoes that have this feature. So let's get into the real reason we're all here and that's these disc golf specific features. First off, we got a reinforced toe right here. I love this feature because in any other shoe I've worn, I put a hole in the top from dragging my foot on the forehand. Now this feature eliminates this inevitable problem a lot of us disc golfers suffer from. The next feature that I love is the sole. There are a few differences in the sole from being other shoes. And one is this piece of flexible material right on the ball of the foot here. This is a great feature to have because I still like the flexibility of a regular tennis shoe that I'm used to wearing. And that's exactly what this feature does. It doesn't inhibit your range of motion at all in the shoe, which is a huge plus for me. And we also see on the heel there, this looks a little bit different from other shoes. This is what they call their power plant. And this is specifically made to give you more control off of the tee when you rotate through the shot. This is a nice feature included in the Syncrasy. The final disc golf specific feature I wanted to mention is what they call their high rise midsole. And that's the part of the shoe right here that connects the bottom to the top of the shoe. And this part is reinforced so that when you plant your foot, there is a much more secure bond and you won't have the potential to blow out of the shoe. Uh, I really like this reinforced midsole because it's one of those great specific disc golf features that in this shoe I specifically loved. Now let's head back to the sole of the shoe because I want to mention here the tread. This shoe has these little plastic, they're not plastic, they're, they're like uh, the same rubber as the sole and these easily dig into dirt, grass and other soft surfaces. However, they still have the grip of a hiking shoe while on harder surfaces. So you still get that same grip uh, when you're on concrete. And these spikes are made out of the same material as the sole, like I mentioned earlier, and they're meant to last and not wear down, which is a great feature. These are also spaced out nicely so that mud and other materials don't, don't get stuck in between the different spikes. And that is one of the features that the shoe has to offer again. So now let's take a look at how it handles in the real world of disc golf. I have had the amazing opportunity to try these shoes out for a couple weeks and I can tell you I absolutely love them. I can really feel the reinforcements in the midsole when I plant my foot and everything just stays in place. There's no sliding around and all that so I really love the midsole feature. I also love the waterproof feature. Uh, I went to play around in the morning and it was nice to not have soaking feet the entire round because I've been there and it sucks. I would have liked to see a bit higher quality shoelaces if I'm being honest. I feel like a, uh, these are a little bit cheap um, but they, they feel all right. They don't feel like they're gonna break. I just would have liked to see a, a little bit more uh, strength added to them, a little more structure. I do, I really do like these reinforcements on the top two holes here. 
Uh, this is a great feature because you don't have to worry about these top two wearing out when you tighten up the shoelaces. And um, yeah, overall, I have really enjoyed wearing and testing out this shoe. I was nervous about my feet hurting after the, the first round uh, I played with these shoes, but uh, there isn't really a breaking in period, which is, which is super nice. And uh, these shoes are perfect for any disc golfer from pro to just starting out. Hey, what is going on everybody? Now I wanted to do a quick little test here just cause I, I'm a little skeptical myself of this and I'm sure you guys are uh, if you're watching this video. So what I've got here is I've got a bucket of water and I am gonna try out this waterproof feature because I really want to know if this thing is like fully submergible. So uh, yeah, we're gonna stick a shoe in the bucket and we'll see what happens. Hopefully no water will get in our shoes. So let's get started and we'll try it out. All right, so I'm just gonna put my foot in and uh, yeah, hopefully my feet don't get wet because that wouldn't be fun. All right, ready? And hopefully this bucket fits. Okay, it does. All right. That's like the sole, the entire sole of the shoe there. Okay. Now the whole toe is submerged. I'm not feeling any water come through. All right. The entire shoe is now submerged. I'm not feeling anything. Maybe a little bit by the laces. The toe is fully submerged. Okay, I think there's some by the laces. All right, let's take it out. Shake it off so I don't make a mess. And uh, let's see if we have feet, oh, wet feet. Let's see if we have wet feet. All right. So here. I'm just going to do a uh, dripping. No, that sock is dry. My hand was a little wet, so you might see, but you might see a little bit of wetness on the sock from my hand. But if I stick my hand in here, okay, I do feel a little, okay. I do feel a little when my, when I stick my hand in here, I feel a little bit of Wetness right in here by the laces, right in here by the laces. Um, but yeah, that's the only part. So all the way up until like here is fully waterproof, which like, honestly, what are you doing in that deep of water? You're, you're not, you're not in a, you're, you are not in a good situation there. So I did not expect this shoe to uh, be waterproofed above the laces or at the laces because that's really hard when you got the, the tongue of the shoe um, that's not super secure. Although on the, sh the tongue of the shoe on the underside still has the same material on the inside, um, which kind of looks like one of those breathable barriers. But yeah, so I didn't expect this shoe to be 100% waterproof but it's waterproof up to the laces. So there you have it. Now we know, now you guys know, if you're looking at buying this shoe. I also do want to mention one more thing. All right, I wanna mention one more thing and that's all the shoes come with this bag. And when I first got it, I had no clue what this was, um, but this is just to wash your shoes. So if they get super muddy or anything, uh, you can put your shoes in here throw them in the washing machine and uh, they'll be ready to go clean again once more. And yeah, this is, this is very big, fits the largest sizes. So that is a very nice feature and a very nice benefit of this shoe. It comes with your own little bag here. I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look with me at what these shoes are made of and how capable these actually are. I did ask Trevor about these shoes. He wore them 
in the newest Bogey Bros battle. And he said he really, really liked the pivot feature on this shoe particularly. But he said he really noticed that pivot feature that we talked about earlier um, when he was rotating through the shot. So, and he said uh, his other shoes he noticed uh, didn't do that. So he really liked that feature. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. We're gonna throw it back to me in the studio. The Syncrasy is now available on pre-order, so go head over to idiosports.com and get these before they sell out. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.